So this section now is going to be about those key skills sections. If we're running down from your personal profile, this is really the next thing I want to see. The idea of your key skills is going to be that it finalizes and updates me on the actual process that you've got. So I know earlier we said about your driving skill. That's certainly a key skill there would be you know, advanced driving, HGV driving, it might be your forklift truck license, those things that are relevant to the job, okay? Now, I'm only gonna read the first half quarter of that CV to start off with. So once you've got through the first sift, this is where we're going. So here's a couple of do's and don'ts for you to follow. Okay, so the do's here. You've got that job description that we talked about earlier. I've created that from an employer point of view to point you in the direction of what I'm looking for. So the do's certainly at this point are gonna be, if you've got a skill that's being looked for on that job description, you need to be talking about it. If the first thing I say on the job description is IT literate, I want you to be telling me in that order why or what IT literacy skills you've got. If it's a driving skill, I wanna know what you can drive, I wanna know where you've driven. If you're looking for management skills, really what should be in there is that you're a key holder, that you've got responsibility, that you're loyal. If it's a shift work, I need to be you to be talking about the fact that you've done flex work before. But your key skills is ideal to amalgamate those skill sets. So you might have had five jobs in customer service each less than a year. Your key skills tells me that you've got five years experience in customer service. Okay, so let's talk about the don'ts. On that key skills area, I really want these things to be in the right order, okay? So if I'm not looking for somebody with a driving skill, don't put your driving skills as the first one of your key skills, because I don't want it, it's not required. If I'm looking for somebody with IT skills, and I've seen this on a CV where it is IT illiterate, because you've not proofread it, make sure that whatever you're putting in these key skills areas, you are proofreading, or even better, somebody else is proofreading for you. Okay, but I really need them in that order. Think about what you're trying to do. Don't talk about the bad, talk about the good. For more support in getting you back to work, why not try one of our fully funded courses? Book now in the description below or message us on Facebook.